have a look at multiples. If we talk about the multiples of 2, what we mean are all the numbers you can get by multiplying 2 by a whole number. So like 2 times 1, or 2 times 2, or 2 times 3, or 2 times 4, etc, etc. Any number you get by multiplying 2 by a whole number, a positive whole number, is a multiple of 2. And so the same story is true for the multiples of 3. So you're going to get 3 times 1, 3 times 2, 3 times 3. So the multiples of 3 are anything you get when multiplying 3 by a positive whole number. Now I'm stopping at 36, just which is 3 times 12, just because I don't have space for more. Obviously the multiples go on and on forever. There'd be then 39, 42, 45, etc, etc. So the multiples of 4, same story, anything you get by multiplying, when you get, when multiplying 4 by a positive whole number. And so as you can see, what you're getting when you're doing your multiples are really just the sort of answers that are in your times tables, right? Um, and so it's quite easy. We can get the multiples of any number we want by just going through and multiplying that number by the positive whole number. As I said, we're just putting a, a small number of multiples up here. Of course, um, in the multiples of 10, for example, will go on. After 120, you get 130, 140, 150, 160. They go on forever and ever. Let's just have a look at a few features of some of um, the multiples. Um, so let's have a look at our multiples of 2 again. Now, the multiples of 2 are the even numbers. What about the multiples of well, there are the multiples of 4. Now, hopefully what you can see is that because 2 divides into 4 with no remainder, the multiples of 4 sit inside the multiples of 2. So any multiple of 4 is also a multiple of 2. And the same will be true for the multiples of 8. Any multiple of 8 is also a multiple of 4 and is also a multiple of 2. And this idea can help us a little bit because say for example I asked you is 357 a multiple of 8? You can immediately tell me no it isn't because 357 is not even and we know that any multiple of 8 also has to be a multiple of 2 so it has to be an even number. If I asked you, is 358 a multiple of 8? Well, 358 is an even number, but we still don't know whether it's a multiple of 8 or not, because it's not true that every even number, every multiple of 2, is also a multiple of 8. We'd actually have to go and check it out, and we'd have to go and divide 8 into 358. And if we do that, we will see that we actually end up with a remainder. So in fact, 358 is not a multiple of 8. So the same story will be true if you're looking at multiples of 3 and multiples of 6 and multiples of 9. The multiples of 6 will all be multiples of 3. The multiples of 9 will all be multiples of 3. And uh, same story with the multiples of 5. All these, and the multiples of 10, because all these multiples of 10 will also be multiples of and the thing we do want to just have a quick look at here and see, notice with your multiples of 5 that they either end in a 5 or a 0. So we can easily tell if a number is a multiple of 5 or not. We just check whether it ends in a 5 or a 0. And of course the multiples of 10 all have to end in a 0. Now we've been focusing on the multiples of very small numbers, but of course you can find the multiple of multiples of any number. So I could ask you for the multiples of 22, and those are just going to be the things when you get when you take 22 and you multiply it by a positive whole number. So 22 times 1, 22 times 2, 22 times 3, 22 times 4, 22 times 5, 22 times 6, and so on and so on. 